Hi everyone, this is Big Benedict from Playing Dead Space 3 on Impossible Difficulty. I want to point out something right over here. See this regenerator coming right into the room? Uh, his little entrance over here is just so cheap and it, epi it epitomizes the general cheapness that just pervades this entire chapter. Um, now, when you're talking about a horror game and then they're dropping a lot of surprises at you, like anytime you watch a horror movie, they do use cheap tricks to try to scare you. Um, but sometimes, I, I, I've just never felt that Dead Space has been this kind of cheap before. Um, even the, the the fleeing sequence afterwards. Uh, uh, so up here, um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to get those boxes up there. But for now, I'm going to uh, do this battle that seemingly never ends. We have Exploders and Leapers. Um, so the best spot that I can find to, to take care of these guys is right over here against the rail. And I just stand up here until no more enemies come. You're going to have leapers leaping at you from the left and exploders coming out of this vent. But there are two vents up here and then there's a vent down below if you go down the stairs on that ladder right there. Or if you go down the ramp, it takes you to the same place. Um, standing on the bottom for me was too close to the vent. If you, you do have to, once the exploders come out of this vent up here, you do have to take care of them pretty promptly. So if you're, you're getting into a bind, use your stasis. Um, there's a leaper right there. He's going to land. I'll probably stasis him, get him out of the way. He, he, he's, he's done. Now another exploder comes up here. And um, it's just, when I say cheap, I just mean that a lot of the times, like the especially in the fleeing sequence at the end, I'm, I'm just getting slashed by the, the regenerator, things are falling on me, um, the flames are all over the place, and I'm not trying to sound like I want the game easier, because this game's tough on impossible mode, it really is, but just some of the tricks they, they pull on you, it's kind of kind of steering away from what Dead Space is, I mean... I actually replied to somebody who, who commented and said that this is the cheapest Dead Space, but in in the game's defense, there there was one section in Dead Space 2 where when you're riding an elevator and they dropped a Necromorph right on you, and there's nothing cheaper than that, but, I mean, that's the only time they ever fooled you. Um, you know, the first time the guy dropped on you, you, you knew he was coming every single time after that, but, I mean, that epitomizes cheap in my book, but th just this whole part, it just took a lot of times to... Because I, I didn't even know. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm killing all these guys. Is Are there a finite number of them? You know, am I in one of those sequences where I'm just supposed to grab all, grab the three items and then, you know, run back, facing enemies the entire time? Or is there a finite number? I, I believe there is a finite number. So these, these little, those things, I just pick those up and get them out of the way. Um, they're just too dangerous to have around. I don't like to, to use them as a projectile to kill enemies because normally the enemies are so close to you anyway that you're going to get damaged. Um, so if I, if I had backed into the wall and thrown that, the splash damage would have killed me. So um, Here I'm just kind of moving around and the sounds, you have Necromorph screaming constantly too and some of the screams are background noise and it's hard to differentiate between the background noise and actual threats so if you I'm even looking down the shaft seeing where that motherfucker's gonna come but I suppose if you wanted to you could take the sound effects off or something to to differentiate it I just play on my computer and I just have some like fifty dollar Sony speakers um, I guess a, a more authentic. If you wanted to get a more authentic uh, quality to the to the to the music, you can use headphones. But I don't like to have my ears covered because um, I have things going. I have to listen to, for the phone and uh, answer calls. And uh, I just feel kind of like I don't. It's, it's it's like having my back to the wall. I just like I don't like to be surprised by anything um, that's going on around me. So I'm just moving around. I had to do, do this section so many times just because, first of all, I didn't know where these where, where these objects were. Now, coming down here, 
there's a vent. And if you try to stay by that ladder, it's just way too close to that vent. Um, it's pretty much, I'm just going around, just kind of just seeing if there's any more enemies. And, you know, just that vent too. Another prime place that they jump out. Just going around. This this is probably my last circuit around the, the map to see if I'm even looking down there. See if those assholes are going to come up and meet me. Do do one of those meet and greets Dead Space style. Uh, but now I have the two item. I have two of three items. So now I'm going to go up here, and there's more enemies. Uh, I believe they they spawn when you get these boxes over here. So you got to turn around. You need eyes in the back of your head in this game. You really do. Uh, but a moment ago, when I was referring to that gentleman whose comments I responded to when I said that yes Dead Space is cheap I mean it's been cheap from day one but this just feel, feels a different kind of cheap to me I don't, I don't know what it is um, I, 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 don't, I don't know I can't define it but it's not something that's making me not like the game because I'm really enjoying this game I really am okay so we have two of the three items, and you, if you don't know where they are, just kind of, maybe you can rewind where I, uh, where I got them. They're just on the benches, and then we need one more item, and then what we're doing here is we're placing the three items um, into that vessel down there. So just, just always be careful, and, and just never take that background, those sound effects of the screaming necromorphs are granted. Because, you know, if you get too complacent, then one of those background screams might actually turn out to be uh, an instance where it's actually an enemy coming. Um, and there's just no... Maybe another part of the cheapness is that there's no checkpoints uh, as periodically as I think they sh there should be in this. Um, just for a situation like this, I don't know. I'm not one of those people that gets mad if it's not a checkpoint every five minutes, but... Um, I do get mad when there's checkpoints and they're unfairly placed and they make the player do things over and over again for no for no purpose whatsoever. There's a third part. It even says we've collected all the items. So you may have noticed that I didn't have any enemies to kill over here. That's just because I, th I believe I killed them all in the other, uh, the other section of this area where I collected the two items. But again, don't get complacent. If you think you've killed all the enemies, you're being complacent because this is a this is dead space. That's all I can say. You have to always just realize that your your death is around at every corner. And just imagine if you were playing on hardcore, you you'd have to have um, the wisdom of playing the game many 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 times to know exactly what's coming. So now we're going to go over here and put the three items in the vessel may have got some spawners over here or maybe I was just checking my um, checking the corners over there um, I made a small mistake over here see if you press down right there you can interact with this thing however we need to since Isaac's an engineer he, we need to fuse together the three resources that we found so that was a mistake on my part, so I'm going to actually go up here. Once you get the three items, then you have to go over to the bench. But just really watch out, because look at this. Lurkers, he spawn right there. You know, you just never know what you're, you're going to get here. and it, It's that kind of unfairness. Like, it just kind of makes me mad. It makes me a little bit... Um, it makes me feel a little disrespected that the game, you know, does that. I mean, let the spawns just happen. But... Uh, I mean, again, in the game's offense, there are so many cheap parts. Like, not really cheap, but there's a lot of a lot of spawns in Dead Space 2. Um, just a lot of spawns. There's one part. Um, I don't even. I can't remember what chapter. It's been so long, you guys. But um, anyway. So if you're on the fence, I would definitely play. If I would definitely acquire this game if I were you, because it's a it's a fantastic title. If you haven't played any of the Dead Spaces, 
I, I actually envy you because you're ignorant of them, and I would love to have your ignorance so I could replay Dead Space 1 and 2, not knowing, uh, well, knowing how good they are, but n maybe, you know, n not knowing the full things about them. You know, you, you, it's, 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 it's kind of an odd thing, but um, definitely Dead Space 1 is the best of them all, in my opinion. Okay, so now we have to refuel the Crozier, okay. and where are we headed now? Pretty much, you're going to see me use the waypoint very, very frequently. That's just because I don't like to go the wrong way. I just want to be pointed in the right direction. That's what I love, uh, love about Dead Space. Just tell me where to go, and I'll go there. So we're coming yet coming down here now, and we are going to acquire a checkpoint. Thankfully, the checkpoint is right, right over here by this door. So every time you die, start at the door. Got to go up the ladder, and we're going to try to refuel the Kreuzer. Um So we're going to have a pickaxe foe coming up here. Just take him out. I believe if you shoot their legs out. They morph. Nah, nah. See, he morphed. I don't know. I think it's a little bit random. Myself. Um, see, some. Yeah, that was a one-hit kill because I severed the limbs. And now we're gonna have another um, another foe coming up this incline here. So just prepare for his arrival. Um, I'm preparing for it by taking this uh, stake. To try to stake this guy, and that was a good kill. Sometimes I wish it could be a little bit more precise. Myself. Yeah, that one missed. It's, I don't know. Maybe it's just my my being a bad aim, which is um, something that I um, I just admit very openly. I'm a bad shot. Okay, no more enemies quite yet. So grab all the loot in here. And then we're going to be... Okay, that's a nice... We're going to get get some good items, but we can't really use them quite yet. Well, I guess you could if there's a bench. I don't know if there's a bench in this area. Um, but Ellie's going to make some kind of mistake, or... I don't know if it was Isaac who made... No, I think it was Ellie who made the, makes the mistake here. Uh, it doesn't occur, occur quite yet, but don't worry about any enemies. I don't believe there's any there's enemies who spawn until you actually interact with this device over here. So make sure you smash these. The one thing that Dead Space did, Dead Space One did uh, abysmally was the stomping. If anyone knows that, does the stomp worked so horribly? Um, and I'm not I'm not even going to go into it. You, anybody who's played Dead Space One and and then played Dead Space Two knows how horrible the stomp was in the first game and how great it works in this game and in the the, the sequel Dead Space Two. Um, so I mean, why didn't that hit connect? We're, you guys rewind that and just tell me why didn't that connect? It's just kind of bullshit sometimes. And there's going to be one guy coming out here. I knew full well that he was coming. It's like these enemies have iframes or something. I don't even know. Like that. What the fuck was that? He didn't even flinch or anything. Uh, that's that that that's genuine unfairness. And now I'm in the red, and I can't even walk. But I just took the hits. Sometimes I just I. It's not that I don't care that I got hit. It's that it's not, it's 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 just because I feel that the game kind of robbed me a little bit. So. I perform well, but I had some bad things happen with the game, so... Um, but I'm not one of those people who just makes excuses and blames the game for everything. But this part up here is so awful. Uh, it probably took me about a half an hour to do this section because, first of all, I didn't know how to do it, and then when I knew how to do it, just so many th little variables would, would screw me over. Namely, the, the regenerators would hit me. And I would have full health, and 
as you know, when they hit you, they take away all your health. Even if you're at full health. I guess that... Um, okay, so anyway, how this section works up here. We're going to have flames on the on, on this incline right here. You can't, obviously, you can't go through those. Um, these guys up here, there's two guys. Now, it's kind of... See, this guy, he ran towards me. Sometimes they'll run through the fire. Sometimes they'll get trapped in the fire. If they burn up, you don't have to stomp their bodies. Just pick up the loot that they drop. Um, and then we're going to have, up ahead, we're going to have one guy who dies in the fire. And then one regenerator. So watch out for the regenerator. Just stasis him. Don't worry about using too much stasis. There is a, a refill. So just take this guy's arms off. That's really important. If you stasis him and he's got his arms, he can still hit you. Even if it's in slow motion, a slow motion kill by him will still kill you. So refill in your stasis here. And I've always had a problem getting those to work properly. Like I'm pressing X and the damn thing's not even activating. Uh, but down here, you're going to go through the door, grab the atom to the left, and there's going to be another guy who burns up. He's not a threat. Um, so just grab his item. And what you have to do now is just run straight forward and then press the button right there. Make sure you actually activate it and just stand back here and then as you're standing here um, the stasis this guy I missed oh, I got him right there stasis him and then at least get his legs gone so he can't really do anything and then as you're doing that the whole time you're doing that press back on the left analog stick just so this car can arrive and you can get on it as quickly as possible now up here um, we're gonna have one guy who either dies in the flames no nah, Sometimes he died on me, sometimes he didn't, but he did not die right here. So just take him out. Um, this was messy. This was really messy, but I had to run through the flames here. And then we're going to be hitting another switch up here. But you have to be very cautious of the fact that, uh, uh, once again, you have to wait. And we have a regenerator. Two regenerators. How, like, how fair is that? It's like all of a sudden we have two regenerators now. Um, and, and in my haste, I pressed the wrong direction here, but there's really no threat. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? And I realized I had uh, put the put the peg on the, the on the bottom plate, and I needed to go to the right side. Um, so this make a break for it. Um, get this, get that item, whatever it is. It it'll vary, and then just get over here very quickly because the regenerator will come. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, you won't run into the regenerator if you just do this quickly, these, these last two sequences here. Um, so we need to go to the left, and don't run, like, don't run all the way, just wait till that fire, I think that's instant death. Sometimes if you're in the flames, and if you're tapping your healing item, you can survive. Uh, and then up here, just make your way, once, see I'm checking my back, Not I don't trust the game one bit, and then let the fire die down. There's some lockers over here to grab. I think you could safely grab these lockers. And then we're going to go be going through the elevator. And this may be in sped up footage. I'm not sure if I did that, but um, the next goal um, I'm going to end the video after the gunfight when we're on the turrets. Um, just because it's a lot of uh, zero gravity stuff and uh, going uh, to the next mission. But basically we're just going to the Gre the Greeley mission. That's the one you need to go to. It'll have a little marker on it to show you which one it is. Um, so we have some incendiary uh, barrels up there that are getting trapped. And we need to shoot them out. So hop on this gun turret. And I actually did this on my first time. So that just goes to show you, even though I'm a really bad shot, it works very well. And I would have got really irritated if something like this didn't work. That's not the actual game. It's just, um, you know, a little side thing that the game is doing, just, just to, to, to mix things up, and it's pretty fun. I don't think this thing can overheat, to tell you the truth, but... Um, just prioritize, you know, if you see a canister in the grinder, just shoot those, and then just shoot the, the Necromorphs as you see them. This thing is a very powerful gun, and... You're not in much threat. You really aren't. And you've got a checkpoint to fall back on. And then that's basically going to be, that's going to conclude this video. And I will see you in chapter 7.